Hi guys, Brian from Brian Boas here. Today I want to share with you another one of my do-it-yourself boa rack designs. This one is very reasonably priced, easy to build, and it uses parts available from everybody's famous low-priced Swedish furniture store, which of course is IKEA. The rack holds the Iris CB110 under the bed storage tubs and are the perfect size for adults of the dwarf locality boas as well as sub-adults of the larger boa localities. So today I want to give you a detailed look at this rack and I'm going to go over the supplies that you'll need as well as the steps involved in building it yourself at home. If you like this video, please subscribe to the Brian Boas YouTube channel for more videos on all aspects of keeping and breeding boas in captivity. To start off with, you'll need these Iris CB110 under the bed storage tubs. The dimensions of these are approximately 39 and a half inches long by about 21 inches wide by about seven inches deep. The rack holds a total of 10 of these particular tubs and you can buy them in cases of five of the tubs, which go for about $120 last time I bought them. So I've gone ahead and I use a soldering iron to melt ventilation holes. You can see I have these holes that I melted in the top of the shorter side on both sides for ventilation for the snakes. So these tubs I use a lot for my dwarf boas. I've kept and bred dwarf boas such as the Tarhumar and Krawki boas in these tubs. And then I also use them as a grow out tub for my um, larger locality boas like the two red, true red tails, they can typically stay in these tubs until they're about three to four years or so when I move them to a larger size tub or cage. Once you have your tubs, you're going to want to take the day off and make a trip over to your nearest Ikea and you want to buy a unit which is called a PAX wardrobe frame. That's P-A-X, PAX. And so the PAX wardrobe frames come in multiple different sizes. But the size that you want is going to be about 79 and a half inches tall. It's about um, 39 and a half inches wide and it's about 23 inches deep. And these units come in both black and white so you can pick whichever color goes best with your decor. I went with the white for this particular one. But make sure you get the one that's about 80 inches tall. There's another one of the same width and depth but it's about eight and a half feet tall. And that particular one, um, you would need like really, really tall ceilings um, if you wanted to use that. You could use it if you wanted to, but for most houses, this is the size to get. And you can see it's got 10 separate shelves that hold the tubs. It's got another small shelf at the top, which isn't wide enough for a tub, but you can use it as a convenient storage shelf. When you're at Ikea, you'll also need to pick up the suitable shelves to put into the wardrobe frame. And these particular shelves are about 39 inches long and about 23 inches wide. And you're going to need 10 of them to make this particular rack. The shelves go for $15 a piece last time I was there. So that the total for the shelves is 150 plus about 100 for the frame. So you're looking at about 250 plus tax for the parts from Ikea. You're going to build the IKEA PAX wardrobe frame according to the directions provided by IKEA. And then once you have that done, you're going to install the shelves. The shelves come with these little plastic um, screws and plastic clips that they can sit up on top, but you can't use the parts provided by IKEA. You're going to have to get your own wood screws and you're going to have to permanently screw these shelves in place so that the snakes can't escape from the tubs. And for that, I use two and a half inch number six wood screws. So I put the tubs starting on the bottom. I put the tub in place and then I put the shelf over it with spacers in between. You want about an eighth of an inch or so between the tub and the shelf so that it's easy to pull it out and push it back in again. You don't want it too big that the snake could potentially escape. And for that, I typically use a bath towel or pieces of cardboard as shims to hold that space. 
I pre-drill the holes with a drill with a 3 8 inch bit and then I screw in the wood screws using a power screwdriver. And it's fairly simple construction. You start at the bottom, you go up shelf by shelf, and you work your way to the top. If you space it just right, it might be possible to get an 11th tub, but when you do that, you might end up making the shelves too close together. Um, so I would much rather err on the side of a little bit looser with that extra storage space up top. You don't want it too tight because over time, it says this is made of particular, uh, like a wood particle board, it will expand somewhat due to the humidity. And over time, it might be harder to pull the tubs in and out. And you want them to be nice and easy to pull in and out. Since it's too tight in here to show you the whole rack in one frame, I'm going to do a panning shot starting at the top of the rack. So you can see I have a Herbstat 6 thermostat on the top, which controls the temperatures and the tubs. Then I have a small shelf where I can hold books and other uh, reptile keeping equipment. And then I'm going to pan down showing you the 10 shelves, each holding the Iris CB110 tubs. And then we get to the bottom. Okay, and then I'm going to go back up again like this. So that's the whole unit. So now I'm going to pull out one of the tubs to show you how it looks inside. So the tub just nicely smoothly slides out with one hand since I've left an adequate gap between the shelf above it and the tub below. And you can see I'm using this coconut husk bedding which holds a high amount of humidity. I have a couple hides. I have this cork bark hide on the cool side. On my hot spot I have this plastic hide which I made out of a this is just a pan that's used for collecting oil. When you're changing your oil obviously you don't want to use one that's contained oil but they're available for a dollar at the dollar store and I just cut an access hole. And so you can see we have a, an adult Corn Island boa. This is my male. And my Corn Island pair bred for me last year in these very same tubs. So what's convenient with this design is you can just pull your top out and put it down and it's like interchangeable parts. You can slide another tub in there if you want to move around the order of your snakes. So looking inside of the shelf you can see I'm using a heat source is a, an ultra therm heating pad. This is a 11 by 23 inch size, size uh, ultra therm pad and I have it held down with aluminum foil tape. You can also see the green tape is holding the thermostat probe from the herbstat in place over the hot spot to control the temperature of that hot spot. I tried using flex watt heat tape with this particular rack design, but I found that it couldn't be used because the spacing of the how the tub fits in the shelf is a little too tight. So at the end of the flex watts has this plastic clips that hold the wires in place and it actually pulled off. I moving the tub, it actually pulled the wiring right out of the flex watt so it couldn't be used. So rather than flex watt, I'm using these ultra therm heating pads. They're a little bit more expensive, but it's a very high quality pad that lasts a long time. Um, and it's a little bit more convenient to use than the flex watt heat tape. These go for about $25 or so for this particular size. I grabbed another snake that I'm keeping in this rack. This is a four-year-old sub-adult Argentine boa, uh, boa constrictor acidentalis. And this particular one has been in this rack for the last uh, two years or so. And I'll probably move her up to a larger cage um, probably later this year, uh, but she's done quite well growing up inside of this uh, CB110 IKEA tub rack. The total price for this particular rack build, including the parts from IKEA, the Iris CB110 tubs, and the UltraTherm heat pads is about $750, which works out to be $75 per shelf, which is a very reasonable price for a rack system 
that can hold boas and other similarly sized snakes. When I first got it, I was a bit concerned about the durability since it's made of this composite wood material, but it's actually held up very nicely. This unit is about five years old and it's held up better than some of the commercially sourced plastic snake cages that I have. I hope this video was helpful in giving you some ideas about how to build your own snake racks. If you have any questions or comments, you can write them below or feel free to reach out to me. Thanks for your attention and enjoy your boas.